welcome back to my channel so in this video we're going to learn how to make this lovely tomato tasty tomato sauce you know that this time around tomatoes is cheaper so it's better to make this and keep it for the winter so at this time if you're still watching why don't you hit the subscribe button and like this video and share for your friends to see so before i start i make this uh vinegar baking powder um baking soda sorry baking soda um, mixture and then i soak the tomatoes in for like 10 minutes and then i wash them and then i cut the tomatoes up into two and squeeze the seeds out so you see that this is the seed and the water i don't want to cook it with the seeds because the seeds are going to uh, get in the tomatoes so after i'm done with all that i'm going to use the water from the tomatoes to cook the tomatoes so i strain it up and i use the same water to boil the tomatoes um so you're going to cook this for about two hours um till you know it's really cooked you know you see that it's reduced and then i added some bell peppers uh usually i use red bell peppers but you can use any uh thing of your choice any flavors like any Thing that you want to add you can add some garlic uh some ginger whatever you want to add you can just use it um so i have this pressure cooker that i use to sterilize my um my my mason jars um you need to sterilize it because um because for um canning you need to sterilize really good to avoid any contamination usually tomatoes doesn't contaminate because of its acidic nature um, however if you're, if you're canning anything other than tomatoes you have a risk of um, you may have a risk of botulinum uh, toxin so after I sterilize them I wash them I sterilize them and then I blend my tomatoes and I pour them back in there whilst it's still hot I cover it up tightly and I re-sterilize these again. And these can these have like a shelf life for about six months or even up to a year, depending on how often you use it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.